Hi, Lizzo. You guys are all giggles. Look at you. <laughs> well, he's laughing because it says Andy Riggs. Can I change our name? He wanted quick? to rename us. Well, but he couldn't do it till we got on with you. Riggs. Aw. Lizzo and doesn't care. It's okay. Allie. Not Owie. Owie. Oh, What's Owie. wrong with you? Oh, you're Owie today. I'm Owie. <laughs> How are you, girl? Hey. Hey, just hanging out, you know. Sun's mm. out, guns out. <sighs> nice, right. You know? So let's just get to it. Who yeah. broke your yeah. back? Who broke your back? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's none of y'all's business. Dang it. I, listen, Mom. I it was it was me. I was like, I was lifting a really heavy box, and <laughs> you know, I just it just blew my back out, honey. You what know, was the box's name? <laughs> what was the box's name? <laughs> <laughs> But thank oh, you for that's a pretty, that's a good Congrats one. Congrats on the VMA, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. I think I'm the first person to win a VMA for a TikTok. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. and for eating incredible mustard on watermelon, or is it watermelon on mustard? Who knows? <laughs> are there any other delicious food combos that you would recommend that are not that obscure? Mm, this is a good question. Um, uh, Takis and cream cheese. Love Ooh. that. Um, uh, woo! I love peanut butter and anything. So, you know, I'll just dip a banana in peanut butter and just go to town. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Um, grapes and Doritos. Interesting. Um, and a lot of like pregnancy craving food. Um, <laughs> pickles, pickles and pickles and bread. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lizzo, it's been two years since we saw Justin Timberlake post you guys in the studio. Oh, wow. And then COVID hit. So, I'm dying to know, like, where is the JT collab? Yeah. Wow. That's a great question. Um, it's probably in the Timberlake vault. Mm. Have you heard of the Timberlake that vault? The Timberlake Lots of vault. things in there. Yeah. So, it's not like going to be on your album. No, it's not. Mm. It's not mine. It's his. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a JT thing. Oh, hey, you're gonna have to ask him. All right. Okay. Look at that face she's making. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, Lizzo, what is your favorite form of social? Like, because you obviously won for the TikTok, but we see you on Insta and everywhere else. What's your favorite one? I love TikTok. It's got to be my favorite. I'm sorry. There's just something like just so freeing about it. Um, and my FYP is just it always it's so random and it always changes. And I feel like with other apps, you know, like Instagram or with Twitter, it's like you have to kind of curate and like follow people and to see things and and even when you're not following people, they, they filter people in that you don't want to see. I'm like, I don't want to see this, you know, mm -hmm. but on TikTok for some, my algorithm is just so like, it's literally for me. Like yes. it's all the things I want to see mm -hmm. food videos and, mm -hmm. and, and, and dogs and, and singing and, and it's, it's mm -hmm. the best. Yeah. I agree oh. with that. They've got it down. Absolutely. Who's your favorite person that you follow? I don't follow anyone. Really? Nobody. What about on, on Instagram then? Oh, uh, my favorite person to follow on Instagram. Is there anyone you just love their posts or the pictures? Like, oh my God, Bretman Rock. I love Bretman Rock. I don't know if you guys, he's a <laughs> beauty influencer. Okay. But he's, he's more than that. He's incredible. He's so funny. He, he's always like, good motherfucking morning, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's always, I love him so much. <laughs> he can do no wrong in my books. Yes, yes. Um, after the, when the the rumors video that came out, which we love by the way, the song is a it's a banger. We love so it. So good. Thank you. After the video came out, you had a really vulnerable moment because you had a lot of like negative comments coming out to you. Mm -hmm. How do you deal mm -hmm. with your own self care? Like from a mental health standpoint, how do you deal with all the comments and the sections and having to mm -hmm. deal with all that? How do you do, what do you do for you for Lizzo? Well, I, I do pretty well for myself. Um, at a certain point, I've realized, I mean, I've, I've received enough negativity to like know how to handle it in my real life. And that's the key. It's like real life. Like, you know, after that, what people don't see after my Instagram live is like, you know, my sister coming in the room and me calling my best friend from Houston and talking to her and me just like 
grounding myself in my reality and my in my in my safe space and with my friends and with my family like people don't see that part you know um and i and i do that i definitely do that and i eat i eat my feelings and <laughs> i love that i love eating my feelings um i ate real good for the next like four weeks after that <laughs> good for you good I'm for like, you know what i want some masada fries <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So then Lizzo, you won't tell us who broke your back. Fine, fair. It's your business. But how do you meet men? That's my next question. <clears throat> it's really hard for me to meet men. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I get DMs from like really hot, famous guys all the time. And I'm like, this isn't real. You know, this isn't like, <sighs> this isn't a true connection. Um, I find that I meet romantic partners through work a lot of times, Mm. like actual work together, not like the entertainment field, but I mean, like literally if I'm working on something, like I've, I've had crushes on a lot of my like engineers. (laughs) (laughs) It's so weird. I don't know why it's like, they're, they gotta sit there and they gotta listen to the music. And I was like, Ooh, you like my voice, (laughs) but that was in the past. That was in the past, but, um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me. Mm-hmm. We heard a rumor that you were hitting on our afternoon guy, Brew. Is this true? Yeah. Brew on the radio. Brew on the radio. On TikTok. She's, she's like, I meet so many people, please. Wait. <laughs> oh my God. No way. Y'all work with him? Yes. Yeah. He's our afternoon guy. Yeah. Did he, did he say something about me? <laughs> yes. That you're beautiful. Should we pass him a note? <laughs> have him check yes or no? <laughs> Tell him that my back is fine now. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> we found out. <laughs> <laughs> he's adorable he is so good looking i don't blame no, i him. love him he's so sweet <laughs> so we heard what cardi b whispered in your ear by the way so you ever swim in the lady pond or <laughs> would you swim in the lady pond <laughs> what i would um, if i could <laughs> listen have you ever seen cardi b's tongue yes mm-hmm. okay. that's your answer got it yes. love it <laughs> yeah you can't buy that honey you cannot buy that <laughs> i love it can i uh, can i can I talk to you real quick about your role with the the, uh, the redoing of the proud family that's coming out the anime yes. that yes. was such a cool series that came out back in like 2001 on the disney channel i thought it did great yep. things for like it was a cartoon based on a black family mm-hmm. yeah how important is it to you to be involved with that now with the conversation as important as it is in 2021 i think it like we don't have that many, um, that much representation, especially in the cartoon space. And to see that it's having a reprisal was exciting enough. I was like, no way, is Sugar Mama gonna be back? Sugar Mama better be back, you know what I mean? Like that, these are the things going through my mind, a fan, a fan's mind. And then, you know, I get an email from Tina Knowles and I'm like, no way, you know? So um, I'm just so honored and proud, no pun intended, yeah. to be mm-hmm. a part of the Proud family um, and the resurgence of it and what it's going to mean to people and a whole new generation of kids who are like, I see myself on television and, you know, this is relatable and it's funny and it's special and it's heartwarming. Um, and mm-hmm. I cannot wait for it to air. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen my episode. So uh, I hope it's good. <laughs> <laughs> So who else is going to be on your album besides Cardi? Are you going to give us anybody? There's a few people that I want, but I have no features. Okay. Besides Cardi. Who do you want? I want to, um, it's a good question. (laughs) Um, there's a few people. I, Mm -hmm. I don't have anyone specifically in mind. Like definitely, you know, I'm, I'm so close with SZA and she and I have um, written some songs together and um, we just write for fun because we're both songwriters and we both are close and we've known each other for years. So that's always fun. I don't know if those will end up on an album anywhere, but it, it's, it is nice writing with your friends. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to get a flute player on my album. Okay. <gasps> that's awesome. You are a big, a, a big flute player. We know mm-hmm. that much about you. I am. Is there anyone that you had to turn Oh, what'd you say? I'm sorry. I said I'm an incredible flutist. Anyway, yes, flutist, is. whatever you say. Flutist. <laughs> is there anyone that you turned down that wanted to work with you? 
that you would tell people a lot of people um and it's not because of them Mm -hmm. it's literally because i just i feel like it's a disservice to hop on somebody's song when i don't know what my artist identity for this album is yet you know um i if i'm hopping on someone's song i want it to be awesome and if i can't give you awesomeness then i would rather say no Mm -hmm. you know respectfully Mm -hmm. um there's a lot of songs that went number one that I was supposed to be a part of and I'm glad I wasn't a part of it because I want I'm glad that their success is theirs that they got to claim that you know um give us one song you were supposed to be on that somebody else was on just one before we let you go just one nah I can't do that right now I'm not trying to get in in trouble uh-uh, I see thing. what happened. I see what happened to others when they do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay, not, I don't want Lizzo. That news cycle. <laughs> <laughs> we can't there. wait for the album to drop. We can't wait for you to get back to Milwaukee. We'd love to see you again. Yes, it's been since Summerfest yeah. since we saw you last mm-hmm. time. So come back soon. All right. All right, I will. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Peace out. Have a good weekend.